This is a setup tutorial for the Schmidt Styliner Mark III marking system with XPE control. For this setup, you will need access to compressed air. When you unpack your marking equipment, you'll find the column mounted Mark III marking head with a filter and regulator attached, controls, communications cable, power cables for the controls and monitor, a keyboard, monitor, mouse, and a mouse pad. The first thing you will want to do is plug all the cables into the back of your controller. After connecting the blue VGA cable to the monitor, plug the other end of the cable into the blue VGA port on the back of the controller. Don't forget to tighten the screws on each side of the connector head. Next, you'll connect the keyboard and mouse cables into their matching color appropriate ports on the back of the controller. Then connect the communications cable. When connecting the communications cable, be sure to line up the internal pins for ease of placement. Once properly lined up, turn the tightening knob on the end of the cable head, which will pull the cable into place and lock it into position. Finally, connect the power cable to the back of the controller. Connect the communications cable to the back of your style liner marking head, making sure you line up the internal pins the same way you did for the controller, and then tighten the knob into the locked position. Then connect your shop air to the regulator on the side of your marking head. Your marking system will now be ready for you to set up your mark. Turn on the monitor, turn on the power to the controller and wait for the computer to boot up. Once the computer is ready, click on the administrator icon to begin. Click and drag open the left window split so you can see the commands sequence window. Click the A icon in the menu bar to bring up the mark text dialog box. Drag the text box to the desired marking location and double click the text box to edit. Type in your text. Select your font. and click OK. If placing a logo in your mark, click the landscape icon next to the text icon and select your logo or trademark file. Select and double click or select and open to add the file to your mark window. Drag the logo to the desired mark location, double click to resize, enter the size value, and click OK. Click the logo again to initiate the size change and drag to the desired mark location. You are now ready to mark. Once you have created your mark, place your part into the marking area on the style liner marking machine. And turn the manual crank handle to adjust the height of the marking head pin directly over your part. Turn on the air to the controller and using the mouse or keyboard shortcut Execute your mark. This concludes the setup tutorial for the Styliner Mark III marking system with XPE controls.